All right, you guys. We're just going to dive right into this one today. It's going to be a quick video. Um, I just had a question in the comments about how to figure out what cross you're on. Um, so I'll definitely show you how to do that um, in a minute. I did want to uh, address a couple of things, though. So I know um, a lot of you are coming to my channel from Levette. And uh, I'm actually really glad to hear a lot of you are getting a lot of uh, good use out of that first video. That's really good. Um, glad to hear that. Um, but I did want to say I'm actually not an astrologer. And this isn't really going to be an astrology channel. Um, basically the reason that first video is on astrology is because I came across Levette's teachings and I kind of had an inkling that, uh, she had a message for my higher self and, um, I, I just dove into, uh, her videos until I got that message and basically that message was, um, hey, get off your butt and do some work, <laughs> do some real work. And so that's uh, basically what this channel is. Um, this is uh, soul work, spiritual work, um, a work of passion where I talk about like um, higher level spirituality and philosophy. Um, so that first video is just uh, all of the knowledge that I compiled from uh, Levette's teachings. Uh, up until I got that uh, message. But once I got that, like, I kind of, like, dropped off from astrology. Um, just because I've, I've done enough soul searching in other areas that I kind of, like, I didn't really need much more from it. Anything else I could, like, get from astrology, uh, any other, like, knowledge about myself or about the universe, like, either I already know or... Um, it would be inconsequential. Like, it, it wouldn't change what I feel my purpose is. Um, so, yeah. Um, if, if, if you're coming across astrology, though, and it, like, is helping you out, um, uh, I highly encourage you to uh, look into it, of course. Um, if, if, you, if you get that feeling that, like, um, it's really helping you out, great. Uh, Levette's a really good teacher, but... Um, if you're coming to this channel for astrology, I'm sorry to tell you, but, like, uh, everything you got in that first video and everything you get in this video is pretty much going to be, like, the full extent of my knowledge on astrology. Um, but if you're here for some of that, like, higher-level spiritual work, uh, stick around, because I've got a lot of uh, things in the works right now, some videos um, that I plan on releasing soon. I've got one other video I want to try and release before New Year's, but I doubt that'll happen. Um, but we'll see. But yeah. So, um, basically I'll give you an example of like that higher level stuff is, um, so you're sitting here asking like, uh, what cross am I on? Um, how do I interpret this? Or what does it mean when these planets are in these positions? And, um... My question to you is, well, why do you want to uh, understand these things? Because you probably want to um, uh, get more enlightenment about yourself and the nature of this uh, universe or something along those lines. Um, my question to you is also, uh, well, how do you know that astrology uh is telling you these things and is telling you the truth and uh i th i think i have an answer for you I, I pulled these from emerson and this is basically this idea of um this higher uh this uh common mind uh the universal mind oops let me erase that um so he says uh he that is once admitted to the voice, oh, okay, sorry, he that is once admitted to the right of reason is made a freeman of the whole estate. What Plato has thought, he may think. What a saint has felt, he may feel. What at any time has befallen any man, he can understand. Basically, um, you can believe whatever you want to believe. Um, if you go back and watch my second video, though, um, you'll understand that, like, um, in, in Jainism, like, the idea is you want to believe, um, only the things that are, um, beneficial to your spiritual development. 
So um, if if astrology is really helping you out and really uh, helping you discern yourself, then great. But if it's giving you like thoughts of um, confusion or uh, sentiments of fear, or if it's uh, or or if you're kind of like uh, using it to excuse like toxic behavior or something like that, uh, I encourage you to take a, a critical eye and go back and look at uh, astrology and see if it's really something that uh, is beneficial for you or if you should kind of um, drop off from it. Um, this other quote kind of like helps. It kind of like comes across the same idea. But it's that idea of um, uh, right here. A man should learn to detect and watch that gleam of light which flashes across his mind from within. More than the luster of the firmament of bards and sages, trust thyself. Every heart vibrates to that iron string. So this kind of like feeling in yourself when you hear someone else's words and like like on on any level people are like the bible is true um and and then like they have they, they have faith in god or whatever but it's like on some level you have to convince yourself of it like this this has to feel true to you for you to ultimately believe it and if it doesn't you can try to lie to yourself all you want but if you don't feel that um, level of truth from it, then it's probably not true. Um, and it probably isn't going to encourage any spiritual growth. But having said that, like um, like I always say, uh, use everything with caution. So if, like I said, if astrology is helping you and if you do feel this, um, this iron string that resonates whenever you hear truth and if Levette's teachings are really helping you um spiritually grow and develop then yeah great let's uh get into astrology um so we're doing a star chart and uh like i said i'm gonna be very bad at this uh, i'm gonna do this more from like a chakra perspective just because i do um reiki so this is more of my understanding of it. Um, so we're going to pull up the um, crosses. So these are the three crosses. The mutable cross, the fixed cross, and the cardinal cross. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and use these icons for your planets and put them in your crosses. So uh, your Mars... Uh, well, yeah, I just put this up here just to make sure. Um, uh, I would forget what you were asking. So you're confused about your own crosses. Is it the one I have most of my planets in, disregarding which ones? What if there's an equal amount of them? Or am I looking at it too simplistically? Sun, Venus, Saturn, and Pisces, both of them are combust. Mars and Leo, Mercury and Aries, Moon and Aquarius, Jupiter and Capricorn. So majority is on the mutable, but most are combust. Uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and place Mars in Leo, Jupiter in Capricorn, Moon in Aquarius, Sun in Pisces, Venus in Pisces, Mercury in Aries, and Saturn in Pisces. <sighs> so first off, um, your cross, from my understanding, is going to be whatever uh, your sun is on. Um, so what Lovett says that um, everybody's like double cross. Basically, what they're doing is um, in in like typical Western astrology, um, they're using um, the sun's position from two thousand years ago. Uh, so um, because of like the precession of the equinoxes and the way the Earth tilts, um, the sun's position in uh, these corresponding um, constellations is different than they were 2,000 years ago. Um, and they're off by about like half a month. So most, uh, half of you are on the wrong cross, half of you are on the right cross. Um, and I'll show mine later. Basically, like um, uh, the way the dates lined up, it says I'm an Aquarius, but I'm actually a Capricorn, I think. But yeah, um, 
you're actually a Pisces. I don't know if that if that's uh, what you were told you were, but yeah, that's your sun is on the mutable cross, so that's your cross. Um, looking at this, um, well, the first thing, of course, is all of these in Pisces. Um, I actually had to look up what combust means. Basically, that just means uh, the planets are closer to the sun, and therefore their effects are m muted or uh, almost like blown out. Uh, like an engine. Um, so Venus being your heart chakra and Saturn being your third eye. Um, probably, and these are both like higher, uh, higher level um, planets on, um, on a lower level um, water constellations so the end with them being combust you probably have some uh issues with your heart chakra third eye chakra maybe uh, um with mars being in leo mars being a very um fire element and being a root chakra you probably have a very um uh, um, I would say, like, quick to anger, almost. Um, Jupiter being in Capricorn, I think. Um, your sacral being rooted. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. Um, so basically... Uh, the most I can interpret is probably from Pisces over here. Um, Pisces is, um, let's see, it's fertility, it's it's groupthink, it's religion, it's it's um, also just like uh, just groups in general, like families and relations. Um, so with your heart chakra being in here, um, you might have issues. This. Um, one uh, okay so i do know that uh saturn saturn's position is supposed to be your um like a big lesson for you to have so with saturn being in here as well probably like a big um thing revolves around uh groups um in some way but Again, this is, uh, <laughs> I am so bad at this. Like, that, that's, so, that's such a, like, a generic, like, it's, it's vague enough, like, um, it's vague enough to where, like, it could, it, that could be anyone, right? Um, so if we look at mine, uh, this is what mine is set up as. So most of mine are actually on the, um, cardinal and fixed cross, um, So it's, it's with, especially with my sign being in Capricorn, Cardinal Earth, and as well as my Mars being in, and my Venus being in Earth, um, it's supposed to get this idea of like me being rooted, uh, which is not true at all. Actually, um, I'm very airy, I'm very spacey. So like this, this is like very wrong or at least the way I'm interpreting it, it does not make sense to me at all. Um, it makes, uh, okay, it makes, it makes some sense. Um, basically Mars, my root chakra being in, in a cardinal earth sign is it what makes the least sense to me. I can kind of like look at the rest of it. Um, in this sense, Saturn would Aquarius, um, Saturn would be my lesson, so an Aquarius that would be um like the uh what is that? Uh what is it called? The law of um uh, I forget what it's called, but it's basically like a, a law of karma, almost like a you reap what you sow type thing. And I tend to be more of um um uh, uh passive um 
like turn the other cheek i i don't very uh, i don't ascribe to like judgment or punishment a lot um just cuz i don't i don't find myself as um worthy enough to um uh to enact judgment if that makes sense so this being a lesson could kind of make sense if I look at it that way um but um uh and here it's like so like just because none of my um planets are on the mutable cross like yours are that's not to say that um I don't also have to contend with these lessons as well, or this lesson, or this lesson. Um, and just because your uh, planets aren't all on, like, Cardinal Cross doesn't mean... Like, okay, so the way I would interpret this is probably, like, I have some, like, higher purpose, but so does everybody else, right? So like just because you're you do, you what, okay you have Jupiter on the on Capricorn and Mercury and Aries, so that kind of makes sense. But um, just because it's not like completely all together like mine is doesn't diminish or shouldn't diminish like your higher purpose as well either. You know what I mean? So like I shouldn't diminish the 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 um the importance of these lessons that the mutable cross might have and you shouldn't diminish you know like there's like all of it is um there's lessons in all of it basically um so yeah that's my <laughs> that uh that's about the best i can do as far as a star chart goes um yeah uh like i said um i've done a, lo- a lot of like um study in like other areas uh, to be able to, um, like, like I said, even, no, even if this says something, like, I, I've read enough on other places, like, I'm trying to live my life in such a way that, basically, it's like the, uh, um, hmm. like, the way people interpret, like, Jesus' teachings, so it's not just, like, that, that, uh, murder is wrong, thou shalt not kill, like, killing is wrong in and of itself, it's basically um, you want yourself in the mindset where killing feels wrong um, because that's supposed to help you out on a spiritual level, help you develop spiritually. And I kind of take these ideas that are across um, a whole bunch of different religions and a whole bunch of different ideologies, these ideas of like, um, just doing good and, um, having good intentions and stuff like that, um, and I kind of, like, I'm, uh, this channel's gonna be, like, trying to, like, bring all of that together, bring all of those ideas together and trying to study it, so, um, like I said, if astrology is really helping you out, um, and you're, you're diving really deep into this and you're able to interpret all this, um, Um, then I, yeah, definitely recommend, yeah, I encourage that, um, but if it's, like I said, if it's, if you're going in too deep, um, and you're getting confused or lost or turned around or anything like that, uh, just back off from it, um, uh, (laughs) one of my defining, um, um, principles and every, like, uh, belief that I have, every philosophy that I ascribe to, um, everything in moderation including moderation (laughs) um so um everything needs to be moderated you don't want to fall in too deep into any uh rabbit hole um but there having said that there are some things like uh, you do want to moderate your moderation there are some things where you do want to like uh, either dive in completely or just like make a stand and 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 um establish your your um your stance on something basically um so yeah 
Um, glad I could help you out. Uh, I hope uh, as useless as my <laughs> uh, star chart reading abilities are. Um, hope you're able to get something out of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, glad to hear from y'all. I'm going to try and release another, like I said, I'm going to try and release another video before New Year's, but we'll see how that goes. Um, y'all take it easy.